Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kara Baldwin Brennan, class of 1992, and Director of Annual Giving. It's my pleasure to welcome you today to Homecoming 2021. Throughout the day, we have activities on campus, but we're also so excited to offer these virtual opportunities to our alumni and friends as well. So thank you for participating. I'm very excited to welcome alumna Kayla Osborne from the class of 2017, who went to Montclair State to learn to become an art teacher. Today, Kayla is going to teach us how to paint our very own Rocky the Red Hawk on a pumpkin. Please share your finished product with us by emailing alumni at montclair.edu or posting to social media and tagging Montclair State. Please know that Kayla's session is pre-recorded. Thank you and have fun. The pumpkin I did a couple days ago and then I also did another pumpkin like this. So if you guys don't want to do the Red Hawk or you want to add some cool funky lines and shapes to your pumpkin, you can definitely do that. So the supplies that you're going to need today, um, I have a paper plate. I'm using this as my palette and that's where I'm going to put all of my paint on here and then when I'm finished I can just throw it away. So if any of you are parents and you're looking for an easy cleanup, this is the way to go. Um, I have acrylic paint. So this paint is going to be, um, it doesn't really come off your clothes if you get it on your clothes, um, but that's what I'm using because it works best on the pumpkins, it stays. But if you have other types of paint, that is fine as well. It might be more um, beneficial to use washable paint if you have a young child. Um, I also have a cup with water and my paintbrush is in that so I can change colors easily. And I also have some paper towels to wipe my brushes off. So those are the general materials that you're gonna need. And I have a really big pumpkin right here. I'm going to go ahead and start painting this Red Hawk. I'm gonna break it down step by step for you guys into different shapes and how they go on the pumpkin. And you guys can follow along if you want to. At any point, you can unmute yourself and ask a question if you have a question. Um, so first I'm going to get a brown color. I already put that on my palette. And I'm going to start with Rocky the Red Hawks, his, um, like his head and eye and top part of his body. We're just going to do his head today. Um, so I'm using a paintbrush and dipping it into my paint. So you guys can go ahead and start putting your paint on your palette and painting along with me if you want to. So on my pumpkin, I'm going to start making the curve of Rocky's head. So it's going to just come around kind of like a large, kind of like a wonky C. If you pull, you see how this line looks like a C right now? This is the top of his head and it comes down. So I'm gonna stop right there. And then I'm gonna go out and bring this bottom part down for the bottom of his head. Okay, so just think of this in terms of lines right now. We got almost like a curved C that's going up and then a straight line at the bottom. And I'm gonna go up a little bit here. And our beak is gonna go right here. And then what I'm gonna do is do a, a small curved line like that because our beak is gonna go right there with our yellow color, but I'm gonna paint this in with my brown. I might be working a lot quicker than you guys are, so don't stress out if you're taking more time to outline your rocky head. I'm gonna give you guys some time while I am putting more paint on my palette. So there's my Rocky head like that. I'm going to wash my brush in my water. And I'm going to put a yellow color for his beak on my palette. Parents, I would recommend doing a little bit of paint every time, um, especially if you have young kids. Sometimes the trick is how you manage the supplies so they don't go crazy with their paint on their pumpkin. Okay. I'm gonna clean off my brush, dry it on the paper towels. 
so it's not making my paint extra watery. And now I'm going to start the beak here. So I'm going to start from this, um, the top of his head here, and I'm just going to make a line that comes out like that and then comes back in. Or his beak. I made his beak a little big, but that's okay. And then you're going to paint that in. And this is only one part of our pumpkin that we're going to paint today, but like I have examples over here, I, you can paint all around your pumpkin. You can do some cool lines and shapes and designs around Rocky. Whatever you are in the mood for. Okay, so once I have my yellow beak there, Once again, I'm going to wash off my brush. And then I'm going to grab a smaller size brush. So my brush here. My hand like that. This is going to be more details. I have a darker brown that I'm going to use. And this part is going to be the detail on the beak and part of his eye. This paint dries pretty quickly and it actually still looks shiny. So it looks like it's wet, but it's drier than you think it is if you're using acrylic paint. Um, but if you're using another type of paint, the paint still might be wet. So this might be a difficult part to do at this moment. Um, you might wanna, if you have younger kids, you might wanna help them with this part. Okay. So with my smaller brush, I'm going to use a dark brown and draw a line to separate the beak. So I'm starting at the, the tip of the beak and I'm just gonna come up with it. So I'm following the curve of the beak there. And then I'm going to do a little, kind of like a dot here for the detail on the beak. And then comes the top of his eye. So from the top of the beak here, where the beak and the, the brown from the head meet, we're gonna make a curve that goes like this. Let me see if I can bring this close to the computer. Just like that. And we're going to pull that curve down to make it nice and big for his eyeball. You can go ahead and then clean off your brush. My next color is going to be his I, and I'm using a lighter yellow. It's gonna be this part of his eyeball, right there. I'm going through this pretty quickly, um, but again, you guys can feel free to take your time with this part of the pum pumpkin painting. And because this part of his eye might be a little wet, I'm gonna really put the paint on nice and thick. And I'm just gonna do, starting at the middle, I'm gonna do a kind of a, a half circle that goes up like that for his eye. Just like that. Okay. 
To make our rocky a little bit more interesting, I'm going to add some red just around rocky as a design. And this is where you guys can get really creative with what you decide to do. But I'm going to use my bigger brush. Let me just dry it off, thin in the water. It looks like this, it has a flat tip like that. And I'm gonna stick it in my red paint. And for this Rocky, on this pumpkin, I did just lines around him to add that kind of detail there. But for this Rocky, I'm just going to do lines that come out. So just like this to make them stand out. Do one more down here. So there is my pumpkin. At this point, I know I went through that very quickly, but we don't have that long for me to um, do this demonstration for you. I do wanna leave a couple minutes to let you guys ask questions. You could turn on your um, microphone or camera if you want to show me what you're working on and I could guide you through something. Um, if you have any questions, you can ask now. Here's my one pumpkin that I did. This other pumpkin with designs is really easy for young kids to do because I just put different colors and just do these types of lines. Thank you to everyone who participated today, and we hope to see on some of our additional uh, events this afternoon. Uh, thank you so much. Take care. Happy homecoming, and go Red Hawks!